A quick third video. This is where I normally take some great pictures of my hair blowing all over the place. Anyway, they've repaired the wall at Cooksfield Nature Reserve. Um, like I said, there's a comb down there where you can come up through if you are particularly worried about cows in here in the summer. That could be done. Um, though it could be cows. Anyway, this is one of several styles I've got to climb on this journey to Pretty. Um, I've got no idea if there are cows in there, but uh, it could be. And there's another big stone style. There's so many lovely Mendip stone styles. I'm just going to put the camera down when I get over, folks. This is slippery. One and two and three. That's it. I'm glad they put a bit of grip on there. They put a bit of wiring so that your feet don't slip. That's very thoughtful. I've already met a vicar and uh, someone from the village properly. I've already met about five people all together. Now sometimes if I'm coming from Ebber Gorge which is over there, over that hill, I've sometimes come up and I'm coming from Wells. I will come this way on the way to Cheddar because that's one of the walks I do when there aren't any cows. Um, I like to do it when it's sunny, that one. It's a, it's a big day's walk. And I haven't done that for, well, I'd say a good three years. Could be longer. Um, one of the times I did this walk, it was very, very misty. And when I got to near Draycott, the mist came down really thick and I got lost and I did a brilliant video. I actually videoed me being lost in the mist. And it's weird that you do get disorientated because all the walls start looking the same. When you're in the mist, you approach a wall, it could be the wall you think you know. But anyway, I came almost face to face with a big hairy herd of cows in the thick mist. Fortunately, I was hogging a wall. I was trying to find my way and I knew I was not totally lost, but I'd never done that particular track. Anyway, what happened was, I managed to roll under a bit of fencing. There was a gap. In fact, it was the only gap when I realised these cows were just standing there like statues and uh, that was quite a, a surreal experience I think anyway I managed, I seen a car he had his yellow fog lights on in the distance so I knew there was a lane or a road nearby and I just headed for that that's when I was able to get out of that part of the field system. Um, yeah, yeah. I actually totally got lost near Draycott's Lights. Not at Draycott's Lights, a couple of fields before. I was on the right track for most of it. And I looked over, it was very thick mist, and I said, all you've got to do is walk straight. Well, I must have gone off slightly, and you can't always tell that when you're in the mist. Unless I'd had a compass and I was just pointing it and following it that way. Obviously it would be different. I've done night marches. I know how to use map and compass, but I hadn't done it that day. Oh, I can see bits of blue sky trying to come out. Yep, hip, hip, hooray, everyone. Anyway, what happened? Well... <clears throat> I don't remember if I got, I got to Draycott, I don't know if I walked back to Cheddar or I got the bus from Draycott, I can't remember now what happened. All I know is I got on this lane and uh, it wasn't dark exactly. It was a very weird thing that happened to me. I'll have to dig that video up again because what I did when I shared that foggy video I dug up one that I'd done not long before in clear blue sky. 
exact same route. Just to show people that I knew the route and I couldn't believe, I, I just couldn't believe. Now it has happened to me in a wood once over stocks and wood, or Stockwell Wood, I can't remember what you call it. Over there, pretty, there's a wood, a big pine wood, a very landscaped wood. It's so landscaped that every plot look alike. Do you know what I mean? There's no sort of unusual features for references. <laughs> yeah, I, it took me ages on other visits. I, I had to go back. I couldn't work out how I got lost and had done a full circle. It does happen. It, it's like an illusion when that happens to you. It's a very weird experience. When you think, well, how did I get here? I mean, I've seen it, um, some of those horror films. It does happen. You can get lost. Um, and I've been back and done that particular walk a few times, knowing now where I, where I took the wrong turn in. It was very slight. But like I said, because it's landscaped in plots. All those tall trees over there can often look, until you get to know it, you know, well, then you do know, you do look for little references. So, yeah, that was something creepy as well. I find that quite a creepy wood. Um, it's built on an old mining area. Um, so the Romans and the Victorians would have been out there doing their mining. I'm not doing that today. I have done it all before, explored all the mining areas over Pretty. There are swallows and potholes. All links up with a big cave-in system. Yeah, there was a... Over where I'm going now, pretty, I'm going, I should probably pass a... Possible pass a tr tree where there's a pothole. And where, not that many years ago, a young man who was an, apparently an experienced potholder got lost underground. I've got a feeling they never found him. So, that was interesting as well. Oh, something to... We'll see pretty barrows in a minute. And we've got a number of styles to cross. A number of styles. Now, it, like I said, it's a couple of years since I've been here. Things do change. Things do change. So far, no cows. Turn off and take some pictures, folks. Just stand up here, have a look round. Yeah, before now, I've walked across that way and gone back towards Cheddar that way, um, avoiding cows. And there's lots of history, loads of history over there, which I've got to explore again on another day, on a friendlier day. This is so friendly. You can have much worse days than this. I can see blue sky come in. And lots of grey. Over and out. Right then, folks. Another quick video. There's a stile there. There it is. Look across the field. There's two stiles there. Um, if you're going to Pretty, you'd probably go through that one. If you want to, if you're on the way to Cheddar, you go in that one. But in that one's normally massive herd and very muddy fields. There are cows that way, but a usually electric fence separates you from them. So obviously it's winter now. There's no corn growing, or because I do sometimes do this walk before the season of the cow, before the cows. I will also do this walk. Um, now today I really want to do the first style because I'm going to Pretty Village. And we're doing very well. I've just come across that field. Time's deceiving though because you think you're doing well and before you know it it's up past two. 
that's what I find. And you think, bloody hell, I've got to get the bus. But now I used to park Alberta up a lot at St. Lawrence Church. Uh, that was, uh, I love, I love walking over there. I would go up to the, the pretty ba barrows, which are on the hill there, ancient Neolithic burial mounds. I've uh, walked all amongst those in the past. I had to escape cows there once. Um, the the forest, the wood I was telling you, Stockton or Stockland, whatever it's called, that's over th over there. That'll come into view in a minute as well. Now this does look like an ancient track, doesn't it? I don't think I came over here at all. In fact, I know I didn't. In 2019, I never come over here at all because it was COVID. Now this looks a well-worn track. I think during the COVID period, it's left its mark where lots of people were home. The children weren't at school. People were coming out for their air. And I think this is a mark, a, not a scar, but it's, it's left a mark on the landscape of COVID, where people were walking, encouraged to come out and breathe in the fresh air. Because I've never seen it. It used to be very narrow. Um, so basically, the farmers have allowed it. I think it is a right of way as well, but it's always been sometimes very tiny. You can only can just see it. And this would have been a tall field full of some crop in here. Um, they are so busy farmers, aren't they? Busy bees. So where we're coming up to now, there could be cows in both fields. Um, so I've got to see what I'm going to do in a minute. Oh, okay, got to see what I've got to do in a minute. We'll have a look over that style. I'm not, I want to go over this one. We just have a look over there. Oh, I don't really need to, but it is, I'll just have a look because there's any signs or anything. Like I said, another one of my walks, I would have been over on that hill there and heading over that way. Heading over there near those cops. And I can actually, I'm glad I not chose to go that way today. I can see loads of cows. Absolutely mad, loads of them. I'm glad I'm not doing that route. It's still the season of the cow. Man, there's loads of cows. See, with my uh, timing today, I've got to be prepared for diversions. Yeah, I can just see loads and loads of cows over there. If I just zoom in. Zoom in through those trees and you'll see cows. Look. Big herds of cows. Look at those over there. And there. Those cows there are in the field that can come in, in here. Right, now what I want to do, because that, that was a really nice picture then, I'm going to stop here for a minute and take a picture of that scene, because it was, really, it was quite nice, like that, over and out.